going? How's your weekend? My weekend has been pretty crazy. Uh, I flew to Thailand today, so that's been a bit of fun. And then when I landed, found out that there is now a travel ban back in Australia. So since I've been overseas, I have to self-isolate for 14 days. Whoopee! So it's evening now. I arrived at about 4 o'clock, 4.30. Managed to get to the city. It's now 5.30. So the sun is going to set somewhat soon. So I'm going to go out for dinner. And then tomorrow I'll be going for a bit of a wander around Bangkok. Going and seeing some of the sights. Um, and then I'm meeting my dad the next day. So that'll be good fun. I found out as I got off the plane that when I get back into Australia, I've got a mandatory 14 day isolation period. Apparently they just passed that in Australia. Damn, any international travel at all, mandatory 14 day isolation. And this is my room. Nothing fancy, nothing particularly special. It's nice and cheap. Uh, me and my dad here in Thailand, he likes to go cheap and cheerful. And hey look, I've even got a little bit of a view. single quiet spot in Bangkok. It is crazy here. So a couple of little updates. Uh, my broken toe is still broken. In fact, it hasn't really moved. Uh, went got another x-ray last week. It still looks pretty much the same as it did six weeks ago. I also asked the doctor about my knee and about the pain that I've been having in my knee for the last year. They confirmed that it's, yes, possibly becoming chronic and have assigned me uh, some physiotherapy sessions, which are subsidized. Just look at that wiring. Does not look safe. All right, so I've accidentally managed to walk in completely the wrong direction and I'm on the wrong side of the city. Oh well, a positive is that I get to see a bit more of the city then. If my broken toe, because it's still broken, uh, I've been referred to go see an orthopedic surgeon who will do a better sort of assessment of what's happening and they may recommend more time or they may recommend surgery where they actually push the bits of bone together and then let it heal. One of the issues there is that when I get back to Australia, I'm on a mandatory 14 day self-isolation. There, there are fines for not adhering to the self-isolation as well. So I really don't know when I'm going to be able to get to go and see this orthopedic surgeon. I don't know. So I'm staying further toward the northwest of the city near Khao San Road, uh, the famous Khao San Road. Nice spot, lots of food, lots of drinks places. Oh, this is kind of nice. I found a little park. Everyone's walking around the park in one single direction. No one's walking the other direction, which is a little odd, but I guess that's a way of helping so that people don't clash into each other. And I need to walk in the other direction, so I'm cutting through the park so I don't walk in the other direction. One very important thing to remember when coming to Thailand is that they love their royal family and you should never ever ever disrespect them in any way shape or form including if say your money flies away the royal family's faces are on the money you're not allowed to stand on the money because then you're standing on the face of the royal family and that is why you see shrines and pictures and statues all over the place of the royal family i ran out of water quite a while ago i should have brought a bit more with me i know for the next few days to bring a lot more water with me uh, I am nearly back at my accommodation, nearly near Khao San Road, so that's where I'm going to leave you today. If you want more swim, bike, run and exercise content from today, here in Thailand, normally in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.